remember attending this one workshop, and this had my blood boiling. So I used to work in a place called, uh, in, in East London, right, in a place called Newham, in this wonderful school. And I remember the, we got this one guy coming to, to teach us, right, to do a bit of teacher training. And he was teaching us how to train, how to teach boys. And I'm like, okay, in particular English. Now, I'm a boy, obviously, or a man, and I, loved, and I loved reading when I was a kid. Reading was my escape, particularly being an only child. And he was saying to us, right, you've got to have different expectation with boys than you have with girls. And suddenly my ears picked up. I was like, I was thinking, where are you going with this? And he was like, you can't expect them to sit down and write like a girl could. Because they're different. <laughs> Boys, you know, you, you've just got to expect that they're going to make, they're going to write a little less. They're not going to, you know, they're not going to be as engaged and you need to have extra stimuluses for them as a result and all this. And I'm thinking, this is the bigotry of low expectation. What I've got in my classroom are working class boys from desperately poor backgrounds, many of whom have grown up without a dad. And we all know the stats about, about what that entails. Mm -hmm. For most of those kids, the only way out of the poverty that they have grown up in is education. That is it. And you want me to go into my classroom and say to these boys who have already got enough challenges as it is, and you know, and that, at the 10 and 11, the gangs are starting to circle and they, you know, start and they're starting to stray into that world. You want me to say to them that they are not as capable for their writing as girls. Well, why don't we just scrap it and just let them run free? It absolutely infuriated me. To me, the worst thing about this progressive movement is a bigotry of low expectations and mm. saying to people, you know what, you need our help or you're not going to be as good at us as us. And to me, that's disgusting because you're dooming people to not have the life that they could have if you have high expectations for them. Because I'm telling you something, if you go into these schools or these places of learning and you have high expectations to, for these kids, the vast majority will meet it. Mm. So with boys in particular, like what is the difference from your personal experience of uh, teaching boys? So my personal experience of teaching boys is they're more rambunctious. You know, they've got more energy. Yeah. You know, they, you know they're, they're not as mature as girls. You've, right. got, you've just got to accept that as well. And but here's the thing that but there's a joy that boys bring to a classroom like girls tend to be more obedient. But with boys, you can tend to have a little bit more fun. You can have a little bit more back and forth or banter, as we call it in London or in the UK. So boys are different like that. But the thing is, with boys is they respond to a challenge. If you say to them, I want by the end of this lesson, Tony, I want four paragraphs and I want capital letter, full stop. I want you to have all your apostrophes. And I want you to get that done by half past. Prove to me you can do it. A boy will be like, yes, because that's how we respond as men. We respond to challenges. We respond to people saying to us, come on, meet this expectation. But if you say to somebody, you're never going to do it, most people will agree. I mean, there'll be the odd kid who will just want to prove you wrong, but the vast majority will never do that.